Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of Hawkeye Bass. And today we started a new series that I've been wanting to start for a long time. The weather just hasn't cooperated. Um, this is going to be, we're going to call it the Quest for Monster Pike. Now this was kind of the first one of the series, kind of testing out, you know, some new baits, some new tactics. And the water was still a little cold, so we didn't have the best of luck. But I got some really cool drone footage and some just some, it was overall a really cool experience today. It's a spot I fished a lot. And in the coming weeks and months, we will be catching some giant pike. And I am going for some double-digit pound pike here in the next month, guys. And I'm sure we're going to get some. But uh, this video is pretty cool as well. So thank you for joining for another. And then after the video of our little fishing excursion today, I'm going to be going over how you can catch pike yourself, some of the best baits to use, some of the best tactics. And then we will continue this series hopefully next weekend and get on some monster pike finally. So thanks for joining, guys. And let's get into those video clips now. Today we're going to be doing something that I've been meaning to do for about a month now, but we finally got the chance to do it. We got some good weather and we got some manageable river levels. We're here at the Iowa River. We're going to be targeting some northern pike and walleye today. So let's get the waders on and head down there. A little bit of what we're going to use today, guys. Big spinner baits with big trailers on them. Uh, spoons. And then we brought a walleye rod down too with some of the authentic moxie worms on there. Quite the adventurous walk. Uh, for those of you who've been with my channel for a while, you've seen me do this before, but for all you new guys, this is quite the quite the trek. And if I can go without falling down, that's usually a plus. Do a little bit of rock climbing. I go under this giant tree that got stuck up here in the flood, I don't know, probably two years ago. Whew. And then you got a scale along this wall, which kind of sucks when they're wet and slippery. It's pretty extreme, round, so get ready. Slippery rocks. Doing this in waders isn't the easiest thing in the world either. All right, now we just got, this doesn't look too bad, but it gets pretty deep right through here, but I think we'll make it. All right guys, we made it, luckily. So we're fishing this island. There's a bunch of backwater behind it. This is where the pike are gonna go to get out of this current right now, especially because the river's high. Something we found ourselves a honey hole. We're gonna start off the day uh, with the spinner. Got I'm doing a Shimano Canon today with this guy. And a big old spinner bait, the little swim bait trailer. This should be the ticket. If they're biting today, they will bite this. Woo. All right, guys, so we've been throwing the spinner bait around, threw the jigs around a little bit. The water's still super cold. Switching to a little spoon now, probably a probably three, three and a half inch spoon. 
Oh, got this paired up with some really heavy braid today. So I didn't have to worry about using a leader. Got the brand new pole, new Sitica. Let's see if we can get anything with this. I've caught fish up there before. It's at the butt end over on that rock and we'll just flip it. We'll just stand up on it and flip it. Alright. Hopefully it lands on that thing. You probably want to bring it a little more this way. Ready? Yep. yep. <laughs> well, we just tried to put that log across. We had something to grab when we went across again, but <laughs> failed. I think we're going to give up for pike for the day. The water is just too cold still, guys. There's still ice on these rocks and stuff. It's just still too cold. Uh, That'll work awesome. Now I got a bunch of water up my sleeves and <laughs> me too. <laughs> minutes later. I'm going to leave the camera rolling just in case one of those falls and I'll wish I had it on film. <laughs> oh, sh shoot. Like I just about did. This tackle box is getting in my way. Alright guys, so now we're going to go through a couple of things that I took today with me to catch pike. Even though we didn't catch any, the water is still probably a good 4 to 5 degrees. Too cold for them to start. You know, the pre-spawn, spawn routine. Um, they usually spawn in the low 40s around here that I've noticed, and I think it's still in the high 30s now, especially after the refreeze. So basically what I did today, guys, and I recommend you do this too. Basically, for all the times I go out, I pack a little day box, is what a lot of people will call it. Um, I'll show you kind of what I packed today. I packed a lot of stuff for like walleyes too, because we're going to hit walleyes, but it's definitely too cold for them. So basically, I'll go through what I took today in my little day box to catch pike, guys. Um, pike are a really aggressive fish, and spring is a great time to catch them if you live around fisheries that do have pike. I highly recommend you try some of these baits. Um, probably my favorite, my go-to, this is the one I actually used today in the video. This is just your classic spinner bait. It's got two big blades. Well, one little bait, one big blade. And I tipped that. I can actually show you what I tipped it with. I put a little Speed Shad No Limit trailer on this, guys. You can see on there. I usually always try to match the trailer with the skirt, but it really doesn't matter when it comes to pike from what I've noticed. Basically, what you want, guys, is just something flashy. You want to imitate a bait fish. So this is a great bait. Um, I would get the bigger sizes. Like I said, this is a pretty darn big one. Um, the second bait that I would tell you guys to use, that's probably, this is honestly probably one of my go-tos. The best bait, which I don't have in my day box right now, is a red eye wiggler. Now basically what that is, that's a kind of a spoon, and then it has two little red eyes in it. And those are great, but then the thing that's very similar and will catch you just as many is just the plain old spoon, guys. I mean, you would think that a fish would be smart enough not to eat just a piece of metal, but these are one of the most effective baits to catch pike and musky as well. So you can see here, I usually tend to stick to red. Red is a great color. Um, also just a plain like chrome silver one is a really good one as well, but anything colorful, anything that gets flashing guys, they're gonna go after that. 
So spoons and red-eye red wigglers are easy a go-to for pike as well. Another one is the classic chatterbait. Now, once again, I try to stick to a little lighter color on these guys. Um, just, just get that flash. It's so important. You just get, get some flash on other guys. Pike are going to react to that, and they are going to hit it. Um, that's why the next bait's a good one as well, and that is a jerk bait. Um, I caught a lot of fish, a lot of pike on jerk baits in the fall last year, but they are also a great spring bait as well. Um, the next thing we have, guys, here is just a big old inline spinner. A lot of people call these like pike flies or musky flies. Um, this is a, I think this is a half ounce with weight on here. Once again, guys, this is kind of a fire tiger, but then it has the flash on the back side. I haven't even used this one yet. I actually just bought this at the swap meet a couple days or a couple weeks ago. But an inline spinner is good as well. And kind of my final thing that I throw when I'm throwing for bigger fish, you guys are going to be seeing me throw these a lot in this little uh, series we're going to have going on. We're going to get some big pike, guys. It's only a matter of time. That water's just got to warm up. Another great bait is just the good old bucktail. Big old bucktail. I put a stinger hook on the bottom as well. So you got one hidden up here. And I put a stinger on there because I was losing a lot of fish last year. I actually come and see them bite, and they would just miss the hook. So I put a stinger on this guy. I'm going to put stingers on all of the bucktails I have. Make sure you guys know your local laws and regulations before you go attaching stinger hooks to things because sometimes you can only have a certain amount of hooks and the hooks going to be so big. So make sure you guys know your regulations. But a bucktail is a good bait as well. So I would have to say my top, my top three baits to catch pike, especially in the spring, I would have to go with the spoon or the red eye wiggler as number one. Um, number two, I would have to go with a big old spinner bait, and you get get some sort of swimming shad or get something for a trailer that adds a little bit more flash into that. And this bait is an awesome bait, and it's you can get them really cheap, and it's a really versatile bait as well. And then third bait, I would have to go with would be the jerk bait. Now I tend to stick with natural colors, but it all kind of depends on the clarity of the water, guys. So. I tend to stick to a shad color because I think that's usually what the main forage is for these fish that I'm going for. But a bluegill color will work really well. A perch color will, will work really well as well. So I would say overall jerkbait is number three. But anything flashy, guys, throw them into places that have pike and you will catch pike. So I think that is going to pretty much sum up this episode. Thank you for joining, guys. Sorry for the delay of not catching fish. We even tried bass fishing today. And the ponds were capped over three days ago. And it's, it's tough, guys. It's windy. As you can see, my, I think my face is red and my hair is all messed up. Super windy. It's still cold. The water's still in like the higher 30s or lower 40s. But we are going to get on some fish really soon, guys. So thank you for joining in. I hope you enjoyed the drone footage. Um, that's the first time I've got the drone down there, and I've been wanting to get that down there since the day I got it. And I hope you enjoyed the little rock climbing adventure. But until next time, guys, we will see you later.